You're about to watch the fourth installment of Video Maker's Deconstructing Editing series, and I wanted to remind you that the previous and forthcoming segments in this series, including Inception, Star Wars, and Apocalypse Now, are available for a limited time at videomaker.com. To check it out, just click on the link in the description below. For more great content, go to videomaker.com. Four times the video. Articles, forums, reviews, and more. Videomaker.com. I'm Dan. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Video Maker's Deconstructing Editing, where we examine great movie scenes with spectacular editing and then break them down to find out why exactly they're so highly revered. Now we're going to take a look at a scene from the classic Alfred Hitchcock film, Psycho. Released in 1960, this film terrified viewers and had people thinking twice about taking a shower. Expertly edited by Hitchcock's go-to editor, George Tomasini, this film took fast-cutting action to a new level. In this scene, Marion Crane, played by Janet Leigh, gets a shocking surprise as she takes a shower at the Bates Motel. Well, it's clear to see why that was one of the most memorable scenes in cinema history. So, you know, what did you take from that, Andy? Well, with everything that was going on there, I mean, it took seven days to shoot, 77 different camera angles, only 50 of them were used. The whole time, it was nothing but, like, close-ups in the middle mm -hmm. for all, all, the, the, all stabbing. the stabbing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This <laughs> he might have even stabbed her 77 <laughs> yeah. times, you know, seriously. Yeah, it was... Yeah, what was kind of interesting was that it started off sort of slow. I don't know if you noticed, the, the cuts were very few at first when she was entering the shower. Yeah. And the music also kind of wasn't quite there yet either. There was no music as she was entering the shower. It's kind of like, you know, what's going on in the scene? What's going to happen? Kind of built that suspense a little bit. But I think almost the majority of the cuts came in when suddenly, you know, that guy had the knife in his hand and he was stabbing her in the yeah. shower. I'm pretty sure then you suddenly saw probably almost all 50 of those cuts. And then after she had kind of died or whatever you want to call that exactly yeah. <laughs> when she fell out of the shower, uh, the, the cuts got a little slower again. I mean, that mm -hmm. one shot that went from 
the drain to her eye, which really showed the fact that, you know, life had drained from her, right? Yeah. Uh, which I thought was really cool, uh, was very slow. You know, it wasn't a very fast cut mm -hmm. scene. It was, you know, it's cut very slow. In fact, there's only two cuts at that point in time, which, yeah. which was a big section of time, probably like 20 seconds. Um, but that just kind of is a credit to the, you know, the editor there that he decided to make the pace go a little faster by putting in a lot of cuts while the stabbing was happening, mm -hmm. but then made it go a lot slower afterwards and beforehand when the suspense was kind of building. So what I found crazy about the, uh, the, the whole shower scene was when the camera was looking at the shower head itself, right. they, they covered up the middle shower heads so no water would get on the camera, and it would, but you would still have the feeling that you're in the shower with her. Right. Like nowadays, little tiny GoPros and like little cases, you just like throw it in the river. Yeah, who cares? You know, yeah. just drop it from an airplane and see what happens, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I also noticed too that um, you know, the music was kind of interesting because like I said, at first there was no music, right? Yeah. And that was something that, um, that the director, Alfred Hitchcock, actually wanted. He didn't want any music at the beginning or at the end. In fact, he didn't want music at all throughout the whole thing. But you know, now we couldn't really imagine that happening because that music is so classic, right? That, yeah. that, that screeching you know, string music. Mm -hmm. And people use that all the time in, in you know, comedy movies and stuff like that because it's just everyone knows it. But you know, at the time, he didn't actually want any of that. But, but his uh, composer, which was Bernard Herrmann, he decided that uh, he was going to show you know, like a sample piece to Alfred Hitchcock to see if he would like to add a little bit of music. And so he came up with that screeching violin thing, which hadn't really happened up until then. Wee, wee. Yeah, exactly. But, but I think it worked really well. I mean, yeah. right? It's synonymous with like this action with a knife. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what you think Yeah, if of. you're going to do this with a knife, yeah. you've got to have screeching wee, strings. Wee, wee. That's, exactly. that's it. So you were talking about before that the lady died on the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, if you really watch it as it, as it, as it pulls back from the lady, right. you can see your eye twitch. I saw that, right? yeah. And then you can yeah. see some, some breathing, right. and she's like, because it must be very uncomfortable because she's lying oh, yeah. over the tub and, and then down on the ground. And you see a, like the a ground. drop of water at the corner yeah. right there that was about to hit her eyeball. I'm sure yeah. that was very uncomfortable as well, so yeah. I, could, I, would, I would have twitched myself. Like right. rubbing it, you're like, ah, oh, get it out of my eye. Right, but as an editor, you would think that you would want to cut that part out before it got there. But yeah. you know, that this, we'll give them a little break. It's 1950s, right? It's a great movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I also noticed that there was a point in the film where um, she was in the shower, and I kind of had a feeling this might happen, but you saw her hair kind of half dry, mm -hmm. half wet, and suddenly the next shot, just like that, the next cut, it was completely wet. And I was like, well, I'm not sure that would happen in real life. But still, again, 1950s, yeah. we'll give them a little break, but it was a continuity error, and those are things to kind of look for in your edits. Well, we could talk forever about this classic scene from Psycho, but I think Andy took a cue from the movie and hasn't showered in weeks. So, <laughs> in our next segment, we'll be watching a scene from Edgar Wright's offbeat action comedy, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This mashup story of music, movies, comic books, and video games used creative editing to give the film a surreal comic book feel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.